Hey, everybody, we're back with climate activist Greta Thunberg. Last Thursday, you and other activists published an open letter to EU leaders. Um, why now and what were you hoping to accomplish? Well, it was uh, mainly to EU leaders, but also to, to global leaders. Um, and it was now because this weekend uh, there was a, a big meeting held in Brussels where EU leaders gathered to, to discuss uh, budgets and future spendings and investments, the mm -hmm. EU CO meeting, and um, which is over now um, after a very long delay. They couldn't agree, but but um, so it was kind of to do that before before this meeting, mm -hmm. and um, to to tell them that you need to treat this crisis like a crisis. You need to stop pretending that we can that we can solve this within today's systems and you need to start treating the climate crisis like a crisis because if we don't try treat it as a crisis we won't be able to solve it and uh, and then we had some demands in there like like um, safeguard and protect democracy and um, protect workers leave no one behind establish uh, binding annual carbon budgets based on the current best available science and include total emissions in all figures and completely divest from fossil fuels, make ecocide an international crime and things like that to, and to say to them that we are no longer going to play your game on your terms because this is a crisis and this is a matter of life and death for so many people. What does the COVID crisis and the reduction of emissions due to COVID crisis what does that what does that mean to you? Do you see anything in there in the possibility of change? No, I mean uh, some people say that the corona virus has been positive for the environment for the climate, which of course is not true at all. Uh, the corona pandemic is a tragedy and nothing else, and I don't think we should speak of it as an opportunity to to build back better or whatever because it's such a tragedy. And uh, these emission cuts have been temporarily, temporary and coincidental. And um, so, so yeah, of course, there's nothing positive to come out from that. But one thing that will come out from, from that will, that the corona pandemic will lead to is that it will change the way that we treat and perceive an emergency and a crisis. And um, because this only shows that the climate crisis has never once been treated as a crisis. And um, so, so yeah. Oh, that's interesting because now we see when, when we truly believe that life is on the line, we will go to extraordinary measures. Yes. And world leaders are now saying themselves that we will not, I mean, not all world leaders, um, as you as you may know, I do uh, know. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, that uh, they will do whatever it takes because you cannot put a price on a human life. And that I think, at least I have never experienced that before when they say that themselves, because that means that we can start that they actually mean it. And it feels like when they say those kinds of things that opens up a new dimension. And um, because if you use that logic, then if you, if you let that apply for the climate crisis, then it changes basically everything. Well, speaking of world leaders who don't take the climate crisis seriously, and I'm just going to pick one at random, uh, Donald Trump. Um, yeah. There's a, 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 fo a photo that became uh, quite famous. It's at the, the UN General Assembly. Uh, when you were there and Donald Trump was there, you, you wa he walked by... And uh, you gave him this famous stare, and I, I, um, I agree with your stare. I'm just curious what was going through your mind, because we all projected a lot onto that expression yeah. that you have there. What was going through your mind in this moment? To be honest, I don't think you need an explanation. <laughs> well, Greta, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for, for having me. And good luck uh, to you on behalf of, of all of us. And I hope we can all join you in your cause uh, with passion, dedication, and with sincerity. 
Greta Thunberg, everybody. We'll be right back.